nothing the matter there, stranger? Or have you come to torment me some more with idle chat? You know Achilles, don't you, sir? You're Patroclus. Achilles serves us at my home. He trained me. He sends you his regards and love. He says to tell you he is thinking of you always. That name. So then you've seen him, have you? In your father's house. And want me to believe he said all that? You'll forgive me if I am a little skeptical. In life, I left Achilles, and in death, he left me. We're even, and we've nothing left to say to one another now. But that can't possibly be true. There must be some misunderstanding here. You haven't spoken since you died? We haven't, no. And I don't think we shall. But you can humor him for me, I guess. Tell him I'm doing perfectly all right, won't you? Achilles, would you tell me something more of Patroclus? You mentioned you were very close. We could have been no closer. The ashes of our bodies yet mingled together somewhere on the surface there. What can I tell you, lad? I loved him with all my heart. And he left me too soon. But now you're both here in the underworld. Can't you go seek him out? or alter your arrangement with my father. <laughs> I tried, lad. I have tried. On both accounts. What you propose is not that simple, it turns out. But I shall tell you what. When next you see Patroclus on your journeys, you keep speaking to him for me, won't you? I'll do what I can. Mm -hmm. So, how's Achilles doing lately, stranger? I figured you could tell me since you've all this access to him, and I don't. He's forced to do my father's bidding, and sworn to secrecy, apparently. I don't pretend to fully understand, but all in all, I think he's doing well. I hope you'll see him for yourself. You don't fully understand, but hope. I see. Well, if you do get to the bottom of this little mystery at some point, You'll indulge me, won't you? I'll see what I can do about it, sir. He must be somewhere in Elysium, you know. Where else could he have gone? I realize that, mistress. It's just, I think we've other matters to attend to, such as emptying the contents of this contraband. I see. That's fine. But you'll need to face your fears someday in all of this. You act as if you can't afford to get involved, but it's a little late for that. Yeah. Say, isn't that the Leafy right nearby? You've been through so much, don't you ever... You could just drink deeply of the River of Forgetfulness and be done with, no? It has been rather tempting, yes. And I have taken sips from time to time. But I've some memories I'm not quite ready to give up on yet. Achilles, I was wondering if you'd split this with me at the lounge. A small excuse for both ourselves to take a break. Are you most certain you have time for me now, lad? Though how could I decline? I'll see you there. I was a fool, you see. The gods promised me eternal glory beyond death. I could have stayed out of the war. Stayed home with Patroclus. I threw everything away. And sent so very many to this place. What's done is done, sir. In my mind, you're the greatest warrior who ever lived. So is it glory you still seek? Or is it Patroclus? It isn't glory anymore, lad. I'm sure of that. Patroclus, however, I fear he's gone to me forever. Although his shade might yet reside within this realm, we left on terms I'd not forgive if I were him. Though, I had better get back to my post now, I think. I hope I didn't cast a greater pall over this place back there. I'm very thankful that we had this chance to get caught up. Now you'd best be off. Take care out there. You have to tell me more about this pact you signed, Achilles. You and Patroclus. So you're doomed to never be together then? You must safeguard the details of it, lad. Although it's not as bad as you make out, I ensure Patroclus is provided for. 
We wouldn't have been together anyway. Initially, he wasn't sent into Elysium, you see. There has to be a way for me to make this right. Not just for him, for you. You have other pressing matters to attend to, lad. And Patroclus and I have ample time to wait this out. I know you mean well, but... Do not discuss this matter with your father now. I fear that it could make things worse. Do you understand? I do, I think. Achilles, now that I have access to the administrative area again, I... Well, I've access to the archives, and... I have some authority to void those under certain circumstances. So about your pact... I know you mean well, lad. And from the bottom of my heart, where once it was, I thank you truly for the thought. However, don't exert your influence on this. Not now, at least. The fates can twist intentions. I don't want to take the risk. You're sure? Well then, I'll wait. But I am going to ask you again. We have to find a way to fix this. Patroclus is waiting. He's just as obstinate as ever, isn't he? Always refused to budge. He ever tell you of the war in which we fought? I fought, I should say. He could have ended it, but he refused to take up arms. Achilles hasn't been particularly forthcoming about his mortal days, no. So he wouldn't fight. I've heard that mortals sometimes frown on that, but why should he have fought if he didn't believe in the cause? He shared our cause. So what if it was not completely his? If not for his stubbornness, I... Well, I would have come here just a bit later, I think. He blames himself for what happened to you, you know. I figured he failed to defend you or something, not that he didn't fight at all. Although he said something about how, once you died, he shortly followed in a rage. I wouldn't know a thing about that, stranger, for you see, I was already dead. Getting my place here in the afterlife all sorted out took quite some time getting accustomed to all this. I know that it's a painful subject, sir, but can you tell me what exactly happened in the war that claimed Patroclus and yourself? He brought it up, said you refused to fight. Until he died. I did refuse to fight until he died. But at that point... But... Look, lad, if we're going to discuss these matters, best we do so in the lounge, not here. served. I'd never take up arms for him. But Patroclus, he always had a different way of looking at things. As I refused to fight, he rose to the occasion, took up my armor, led my brothers into battle in my guise. Fought nobly. But then he... well. And after you found out, you sought vengeance for him. Took vengeance. That I did. They got me, finally, of course. But not before I broke them first. The war soon ended after that. It is an awful contradiction that to quickly end war, one need only extinguish many lives at once. I had not realized it at the time. Did you allow yourself to die so that you could see Patroclus again here? I don't know. Maybe. I only know that I was filled with rage. Rage that subsided soon after I arrived here. I felt empty. I never saw Patroclus again. But I learned my brothers honored my last request, as my ashes were laid to rest with his. <sighs> anyway, appreciate the drink. Suppose I'd best be getting back to standing quietly about. Though that war, lad. Don't ask me about it again. All right? Of course. Hmm. A question, if you don't mind, stranger. Because I've had one nagging at me since we last discussed the subject. What exactly happened to Achilles, can you say? After I died, that is. I've heard the rumors, but I don't trust any of this boastful lot. Well, from what I gathered, sir, 
After you fell, he was overcome with grief and anger. He joined the war just like you urged, and single-handedly, he almost ended it. So then, he threw away his life. Soon enough after I lost mine. Yet despite vanquishing an army on his own, he wound up in the lowest pits of Tartarus. Instead of here, among the great. You should know, sir. You were buried together. Your ashes, that is. It was his final request. As for how he came to be at my father's house, that's something I think he can best explain. And I will do everything I can to make sure that he has the opportunity. Our ashes, you say? Together? The fool. We could have lived, not been reduced to meal for the worms. But I appreciate the information, stranger. Now, please go. Well, forgive me, stranger, for in retrospect, I was too terse after you told me what became of my Achilles. Tales of his climactic battle I had heard. The stuff about his ashes and my own, that was all new. No need to even ask forgiveness, sir. Achilles is one of my closest friends, but he doesn't care to talk about himself, about those times. It must be very painful for the both of you. Oh, we've all seen our share of pain by now, but knowing that he cared for me in the end, after the end, it dulls the feeling of it for a bit, as do these conversations, I guess. How is he, anyway, if you've encountered him of late during your journeys, lad? The fallen warrior you've run into in Elysium, that is. He's doing relatively well, I think. There's a lot you've told me that he didn't know about what led up to his present circumstances and your own. You told him then, without requesting my consent to tell him first. What exactly did you say to him? Achilles, I... I'm sorry. I just told him about your ashes being intermingled, that whole thing, and about the pact. You told me once to send him your love and regards. This brought him no joy, only questions. You told me not to speak to father, not to him. You're right, I should have specified, or shouldn't have, because what you said probably is for the best. I didn't mean to lose my temper with you, lad, it's just... Look, thank you for looking out for him, for both of us. Just please be careful. I swear I will. But anyway, I've meant to ask you something, stranger. Would you mind doing me a favor, please? If it happens to come up along your path. Suppose I ought to tell it to you first, prior to asking a response. No, of course, sir. What is it? What's on your mind? If I know my Achilles, then he's being rather guarded when it comes to this predicament we're in. How can somebody be so brash yet hate to take unnecessary risks? Just let him know I said to risk it all. Risk it all? Risk what all? He wants what's best for you. He wouldn't want anything to happen. It's already long since happened. I dare say that right now, provided what you've said is true, then it appears we've more to gain than lose. Isn't fear for the weak? I have a message for you from the fallen warrior over in Elysium, Achilles, sir. He says... he simply said to let you know to risk it all. To risk it all? He said to risk it all? Yes. Is there something significant about that phrase? When last he said to risk it all to me, I didn't listen to him then. But should have. I should have. He's asking you to take another chance. No. He's giving me another chance, I think. I... Leave me, lad, for now. Thank you for telling me. Your, your Highness! Oh, that's why it's called a doomstone. I'm a 
time up. A word, Prince? I need your help with something, lad. As I'm about to risk it all, I think. Will you hear me out? Of course, sir. What is it? I'm listening. The pact I signed with your father. It must be buried somewhere down in the administrative chamber there. I dared not ask that you locate it. Out of fear that tampering with it would only make things worse, except... Except that fear is for the weak, Achilles, sir. Indeed. Besides, your father has been more abiding than I expected with how you were able to void the pact that separated Orpheus and Eurydice. So perhaps my case isn't a lost cause yet. I'll speak with Nix about it the next chance I get. And I'll be careful, sir. I promise you. You have my thanks. I, uh, happen to be looking into our security situation here, just running background checks, that sort of thing, and I was wondering if you could help me locate an old pact signed by... signed by Achilles. Nix. It would mean a lot. Not just to him, but me. Achilles. We would struggle to put someone comparable in his role. Though, be that as it may. Epsilon Iota Theta, Rofolter, Middle, I believe. You are certain about this child? Couldn't be more certain, Nix. Thinking I ought to check the old administrative chamber now. Should check the admin chamber for the pact Nix mentioned. Buried deep within the archives, holding many binding pacts between Lord Hades and the dead, resides an old agreement. In exchange for services from an extraordinary warrior, for eternity with an Elysium, for his dear partner. Should be able to approve a few revisions to that one with the house contractor, I think. is hereby no longer barred from visiting Elysium. Such leniency with binding pacts shall tarnish our good reputation at this rate. Got to keep at it. <laughs> oh, there you are, Highness. Achilles, your pact with father is officially amended, sir. Specifically, it no longer has any stipulation barring you from entering Elysium during the indefinite term of your employment. On my authority in the name of Hades. Thank you for your service. What are you? You're serious. I'm able to go. You're right, I feel it. I'm unbound. So I can simply leave right now. You can simply leave right now. And might I add, it's about damn time. I should get going then, although I am unprepared. I didn't think it would come to this. It's not that I had no faith in you, it's just... Incidentally, there's this one glade out in Elysium I highly recommend. Go to him, sir. You've waited long enough. Fear is for the weak. Fear is for the weak. Farewell for now, lad. I can't thank you enough. Farewell for now, sir. Hey, that's Achilles, isn't it? Well, not for you, Pat. Why, look who. I thought we might run into you, but how strange to see you face to face out here, lad. To see this place myself, I still can't quite believe any of this. He really can't. Though I keep telling him, it's true. Nothing's accomplished without risk, isn't that so? 
But we, of course, have you to thank, stranger. Our troubles needn't have been your concern. Nonsense, sir. You're my friend. And Achilles. I don't know where I would even be if not for you. Well, no need to get emotional, is there? We Myrmidons were not the sentimental type. Achilles is simply on break, is all. From a demanding job. You've a demanding job as well, so here, my customary gift. Sir, you're back. How was it in Elysium? Was everything all right? It went well, lad. As well as I could have hoped. Better than I might have feared. Hey, don't take Patroclus calling you stranger personally, all right? He has less charitable terms for those he doesn't care for. Come on, Achilles, I want details here. What happened with you two, if you don't mind? Haha, <laughs> well... Thankfully, your efforts meant that no words really needed to be said when I arrived. He simply said my name. Then we just... were. Two souls, together in one spot. The way shades linger. It looks mournful, right? But it isn't always. That's wonderful to hear. He seemed uplifted in your presence. You must have lots of catching up to do. Lots of making up for lost time. And finally, we have some time to spare. It's odd, because so many of my memories of him are from a time of war. Now we can make new memories in peace. Anyway, see you out there again sometime, I hope. Count on it, sir. Achilles, next time you're in Elysium, I thought this might be something you'd enjoy, that you might share. Ambrosia. Well, I'm honored, lad, truly. Although it's I who ought to be bestowing thoughtful gifts upon you for what you've done for me, not the other way around. And I happen to have one here, on Pat's and my behalf. You have a Chthonic companion, and you're giving it to me? music. Decent.